Hi, it's Nick Astor with TriplePundit.com. I'm here at the Sustainable Brands 2013 conference in San Diego, California. I'm here with Errol Odebache. He is the Director of Sustainability for Johnson & Johnson's Medical Devices and Diagnostics Division. And we've been having a good conversation about some of the products that you produce. Um, before we get into the really exciting stuff, which is basically building the case for more sustainable products and to offer more sustainable products. How do you actually define a sustainable product in the first place? Well, in the, in the valuation model that we've created to look at uh, driving sustainability, we're really talking about the, uh, the products themselves. So we're talking about product sustainability as opposed to operational sustainability. So we're looking at things like packaging um, and recycled content and, and minimizing packaging. We're looking at um, the, the product life cycle, we're looking at the end of life, we're looking at about chemicals of concern that may be in the products, um, we're looking at the energy consumption, water consumption, waste consumption from the products themselves, so that's really what we're looking at is, is uh, the product life cycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, what about this valuation of sustainability? Tell me about how that works and, and how you help uh, make the case for these products. Sure, so what, what we know is that um, our customers are demanding more sustainable products uh, we actually know from market research that we've done that 55 percent of customers believe that sustainable products are uh, sustainability is is very important in the procurement process and that 35 percent of our suppliers that that we or customers that we um, had market research with they they said that um, they have switched suppliers due to sustainability mm -hmm. attributes so we know this is very important in in driving decisions mm -hmm. And so what we wanted to do was to, was to develop a valua valuation model that will actually uh, give us uh, some range of how much sustainability is worth so we can prioritize it with all the other internal uh, projects that we yeah. have going on. Yeah. Now that's a really big deal, how much sustainability is worth. Tell me a little bit about what that means. I mean, is that a, how does that expressed? If I'm, if I'm a customer and I'm thinking about making a decision, you know, what is it that you're able to tell me or tell your, 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 your folks internally about uh, you know, how I'm making that decision and, and, and what the factors of sustainability are that would, that would make it worth more or, or less or whatever? Sure, so what, what we're looking at is, um, internally is really revenue. So we're basing on how much revenue can we uh, increase, how much market share can we gain by having more sustainable products. On the flip side, if we don't focus on sustainability, then how much revenue is at risk? Mm -hmm. So what we look at when we have the valuation model is, first, what percentage of our customers really care about sustainability? And care means that it's in the procurement process. Mm -hmm. So uh, sustainability is one of the aspects that, that matters in procurement. Uh, the, the second piece of that, that customer differentiation is, uh, is what, what percentage sustainability plays in that decision role. Mm -hmm. So we, we know about 20% of our customers actually have sustainability criteria in procurement. Mm -hmm. And of those, about 10% of the weighting of the decision is, on average, is, is on sustainability. Mm -hmm. So that's the first screen that we apply. Mm -hmm. And then we look at our products themselves and we understand that the sustainability attributes can actually make a, make a procurement decision uh, when they're less differentiated. Mm -hmm. so, so products that are very innovative and differentiated, if you improve the sustainability score, you're not really going to impact the procurement decision. But if, if you have a more, uh, a more commoditized or less differentiated product, sustainability can be the score that mm -hmm. can either put you over the top or put your competitor over the top when the decision is made. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And finally, have you seen any results yet? Is this driving more sustainable uh, purchases and development? Absolutely. So what it's driving is, is more sustainable uh, sustainability discussions. So it's bringing it to the table. So. A lot of people believe that sustainability is the right thing to do, and we believe that. We've believed it for a long time. It's part of our, our credo. Um, but the right thing to do, I think, gets you so far, and you need to look at the, the business drivers. And as sustainability is a business driver now, and we can prove that, then it really uh, opens people's eyes and, and gets the right conversations going to make the changes that we need to make. Wonderful. Errol, thanks very much for your time. All right. Thank you. Great.